Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get the number of selected items of a list box in a VBA user forum. So let's start the tutorial. And here we've got the final output. Now let's select green, white, Red, I have selected three items in this list box on so a quick button control. Notice the number of selected items three. If I unselect one, I got two, two green, purple. Now I have selected four items. Click, see here we got four. I have unselected three items. Now we got only selected item is one. See here the result is the, the number of selected items one. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one book on Excel sheet. First, we require one user forum. For that, go to developer. Under developer, there is a visual basic. Click that one. And here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Then now we create one user forum. For that, go to insert, click user forum. And here we got the user forum design page. Let me expand this user forum. Now let's add one list box. The list box and one button control. And I'm changing the caption of the button control to click. Let's increase the font bold. Okay. Now we require some items in this list box. For that, select the user forum, right click the mouse, and go to view code. By default, it will run the use quick event, but we require the user forum initialize. Now here we got the initialize event. We don't require any more this click event, delete that one. Now let's create one array to add some items into the list box. List box one dot list. List is equals to array. Uh, I'm adding one. Let's add some names here. Red. Red. Blue. Green. orange purple pink white just for the demo purpose i have added some uh, items which are colors in this array now after adding the items into this list box now we require uh, let's select the list box List box properties. We need to select the multi select to form multi select multi. Now let's check the output. These arrows are binded to this list box or not. And notice here in the output, the arrows are binded successfully. Now my aim is the main task comes here. If I select the items red purple pink now i have selected three items when a user clicks this button control i want to get the message box on that message box i want to display the number of selected items if a user answers anything now we got only two selected when a user clicks i want to get the number of selected items too so let's add that code i'm closing this application select the click button that will click that one now the code is adding for loop for i is equals to 0 to list box 1 dot list count and counting the list box items minus 1 and first let's add the next to close the for loop next i then the condition is if if uh, list box 1 dot selected selected 
i is equals to true then let's close the and if the selected items is true means whatever the selected items i need to count those items for that i'm defining one variable x is equals to x plus one that's it and the final step below the next condition i'm adding one message box in this message box i want to um, display the number of selected items so first we will get the number of selected items items ampersand x so x is we get the total number of values the selected values now run this application to check the final output and here we got the final output now let's select green white red i have selected three items in this list box on so a quick button control notice the number of selected items three if i unselect one i got two two green purple now i have selected four items click see here we got four i have unselected three items now we got only selected item is one see here the result is the, the number of selected items one that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to get the number of selected items thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave the comment catch you in my next video tutorial